Hi, my name is Shree and today I'm going to be showing you how to macrame a couple of uh, bar stools. I had these outside and the netting had ripped on them and rather than throw them away, I decided that I would macrame them and get some more use out of them. Okay, so first thing I want to show you is obviously you can see where the netting ripped on this chair. First thing you have to do is remove it. What I did is took a box cutter and cut all the way along the spine from the top to the bottom of the chair on both sides. There, I lifted this up and then you could cut again from the bottom. So both sides. I took a box cutter and cut through and removed as much of this as possible. Um, then I popped off one of these corners here and then used needle nose pliers and there's a white cord which is tucked down into the space here and that's what holds this netting in. Um, so if you cut as much off here as possible and then take your needle nose pliers you should be able to slide it out relatively easy. So then once these are both removed your chair will probably look similar to this. Um, now while I have this here I will show you what I did because this right here is a wooden dowel. Um, obviously it wasn't on the chair but you do have to um, place one here temporarily and I just tied it with a regular traditional knot on both sides and I remove it after the piece is completed. But for now you do have to have one here and then at least putting it back here you can also raise it up and push it down a little bit so that you can, uh, it's easier to make sure that your um, pattern stays the way you want it to stay and by having this here you can manipulate a little bit around it. Okay, so we are going to get started. I will try to work from the back to the front. Um, I purchased Pepperell 6 millimeter um, craft cord off Amazon.com. Um, you could probably find this at your local um, craft store. It's 6 millimeter and it's like a nylon cord. Um, it also comes in other names like braided elegance cord if you can find that, but you need 100 yards. Um, well, you need a total of 200, so if you want to do them um, in mixture colors, then you need a 100 of each. Um, to start with, we're going to start with, um, this is called Demo. Okay, and to begin, um, the biggest concern I read on all the websites is how to macrame a folding chair or any kind of chair is how you start. Um, the easiest way I found is just to take your yarn and then to tie a traditional knot here. I just tied a knot, a normal knot, and then you leave that one there and then you pull your yarn up. It's going to go over this piece underneath your dowel and that is why you need your dowel. And then you bring this back in in front of the back support bar in the top. And at the top here then you're going to make a loop. Um, for your first loop, you're going to bring it under and you're going to bring it back to my right. This is the only time you're going to do that. And then you're going to take a crochet hook. You're going to want to purchase two crochet hooks, um, preferably size K. Um, any kind will do. For now, this is what I have. And you place this in the loop. Now, and then snug, this is your loose. Um, feeder line. Now obviously if you don't do something with this and you pull this snug it's just going to flip out around. So to get started I generally just take a piece of tape and I tape this here so it doesn't fly out or fall off. Okay then you take your loose piece you're going to take your loop which is always going to go the same way throughout your entire pattern. Um, this one you're going to put on the right side here, or it'd be if you're left, if you're facing it, just to bring your loop underneath. So you have a little loop here. 
and you're going to put your crochet hook in here. You're going to take your, your feeder line, you're going to snug that up a little bit, and you're going to take a piece of tape just for the first one, and you're going to tape this on too so that it doesn't fall out. That's all you have to do to get this started. Now from here on, all of your loops will be fed going from left to right. So now we take this again, up, over the support beam at the bottom, behind the wooden dowel, back in front of the back supports, up over, we take our loop over, and this time it's going to go to the right. It's going to go over here. So we bring it over here. Now we can take our tape off because we no longer need that. Okay, we take our crochet hook and this loop that we took over we're going to place into the end of our hook and we're going to feed this loop through this loop here. So we pull this one through here. And that is the beginning. Okay, and then you can snug it up a little bit. Always keep your feeder wire so that you keep your work straight all the way down through. So now you no longer have to worry about your, this falling out. If it's snugged up a little bit, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about using tape anymore. So then you take your feeder wire again down here, and you're going to keep your loop the feeder wire always going to be on this side. You do your loop again, you bring your loop on the other side of your feeder line, and now we can tape this piece of tape off as well, because we're done with it. And you're going to put your crochet hook through that loop and feed that through your other loop, just as you did at the top. And there you go. And you're going to continue this, keeping your lines all straight, it's over, under, in front of, up again, to both sides of your, your cord, and then you're going to take your loop, feed your loop through up here. And snug it up just a hair. Same thing here, it goes on the top of this brace, your loop, down underneath, and then you loop it through your loop here and then snug that up a little bit. So you are going to continue with this pattern all the way across the chair. Now I'm going to pause this until I get this part done and then we'll continue on. This is going to take you a little bit. Um, you should have enough, um, this is a pretty big bar stool, but you should have enough um, of the 100 yards to finish um, the up and down. 